Welcome back readers and thank you for joining us for another virtual story time. As a reminder, we are doing in-person story times for two different age groups on Thursdays and Fridays at 1030. If you're in town, come and join us. But we're going to hop right into our theme for the fourth week of March, which is wind. Getting ready to fly those kites this spring. So let's jump in today's, to today's story, which is W is for wind, a weather alphabet. Written by Pat Michaels and illustrated by Melanie Rose. Let's get started. As a quick reminder, these are this is a series of alphabet books, and there's always a lot of information in the sidebars, but I'm just going to be reading the main storyline here. A is for atmosphere. Rivers of air flow around the earth every day. It gives us the oxygen we need to live and play. The winds constantly shift and move from place to place. They bring the gentle breezes you feel upon your face. B is for barometer. As our atmosphere grows larger and smaller, the barometer will become shorter and taller. The long tube of mercury will show the measure, always sensing the weight of the air pressure. C is for cloud. Do you see something in that cloud? I think I do. Sometimes they are puffy and white and they make animal shapes with that delight. But clouds have a more serious role. Some contain rain that makes the plants grow. D is for dew. Gentle droplets form on the leaves and grass. Morning turns cool and still as the hours pass. Water becomes thick and coats the tall trees. Dew drips from the cups of the water-filled leaves. E is for evaporation. The summer steam rises from an afternoon shower. The ground is almost dry within an hour. And where does the water go from there? It disappears and goes back into the air. F is for funnel cloud. Sometimes clouds become fierce and dark. They fill with water and begin to spark. They spin like tops round and round. We call them tornadoes when they touch the ground. G is for glacier. The trenches are marked by a large ice form where highlands once stood. Now valleys are born. The glaciers slide south during the years of cold. The landscape takes shape from the large ice mold. H is for hurricane. The winds swirl around in a large formation. Storms of this size need no magnification. Meteorologists study them with eyes from space. For some, the storm is something to chase. I is for ice. Winter is full of beautiful snow and ice. Some of it's dangerous, yet most of it nice. A coat of white covers most of the lakes. The floating snow falls in glittering flakes. J is for jet stream. 
The jet stream has a really fast name. It keeps the weather from being the same. North and south, it makes the air flow. With its constant changing, it makes our weather go. K is for knots. If the wind blows, mariners give it a different name. Not measured in miles, but almost the same. Sailors know they should take heed to adjust their sails for maximum speed. L is for lightning. Dancing across the nighttime sky, lightning is reflected in your eye. Its power seems somewhat of a mystery. If we could catch it, we might change it. History. M is for meteorologist. How will we know what tomorrow may bring? The weather is constantly changing everything. It's a serious challenge to say it will rain, especially when there is much to lose or gain. N is for Northern Lights. The colors that dance through the Northern sky make the heart jump with sheer joy to the eye. The solar winds brush gently past the earth and make the skies glow, giving a delightful mirth. O is for Ozone. It surrounds the earth with a massive covering Without it, there would be lots of suffering. It keeps us safe from the sun's burning rays, and we have to preserve the ozone's protective waves, ways. P is for precipitation. Sometimes it falls in a gentle shower but thunderstorms offer much more power. In winter, it falls as snow or sleet and rain that freezes on the street. Q is for quick weather changes. The wind turns around with a blink of an eye. The temperature drops and clouds fill the sky. Weather instruments swing wildly, going forward and back. As the storm approaches, satellite and radar watch its track. R is for rainbow. When sunlight shines on the rain just right, it inspires a promise of hope and love, a message that seems to come from above. S is for sunshine. The sand reflects the warmth on your face. A breeze carries sounds of a summer place. Buckets of seashells dry in the bright light. Children splash through the water with delight. T is for tornado. From the storm's bottom, the funnel cloud is attached. The tornado's wind power on Earth is unmatched. The twister can make long marks on the land below, sometimes destroying homes, such sadness it can bestow. U is for umbrella. They pop up like mushrooms after a spring rain. Wet city streets transform into a colorful train. Parade of umbrellas, each one a different size. Still the confusion of whose, whose is whose is no surprise. V is for vapor. 
It flows like the wind, a gas invisible to the eye. It doesn't look like water until we see it in the sky. Clouds droplets form from the vapor we can't see, sometimes on the lawn or a cool glass of tea. W is for wind. It flows south, north, east, and west. The wind is never really at rest. The world depends on its constant ebb and flow. Without the wind, the weather would have nowhere to go. X is for x-rays. The rays of stream, the rays stream from our sun like light, but they can't be seen in anyone's sight. Its cosmic radiation can cause severe pain, but in the right kind of doses, it can be quite tame. Y is for year. Our world is turning and sailing through space, going round the sun at an incredible pace. Caught in its solar circle of life called a year, it's always dependable with a schedule to adhere. Z is for zero. Zero is a very important in making our weather show. The temperature at zero turns rain into snow. Then, with the crossing of each zero, back up mercury will go. Say goodbye to the frozen ice and back to the water flow. The end. Thank you for joining us for W is for Wind, a weather alphabet. Written by Pat Michaels and illustrated by Melanie Rose. We hope to see you again very soon.